let's switch to the orange color for forces so we are going to create one force that points to this contact point here which is going to be equal and opposite to this one and then another one that points to this uh, point as well and that's going to be equal and opposite to the tangency force uh, then here in the bottom uh, we are going to create a force like this that is perpendicular to the uh, blue diameter and also associated to a friction force uh, now when solving these forces we already have one degree of freedom in the lower pivot here we unlock the force it gives a second degree of freedom and then we unlock the angle that remains from the first step so it gives a third degree of freedom then we say sum of all these forces should be zero and also sum of uh, these moments the moments of all these forces uh, should be zero so checking the orientations of the frictions uh, the system is rotating clockwise so uh, this friction here is going the right way this friction is going the right way, this one as well and uh, this here is also going in the right way because it's a force applied by the blue part on the orange part uh, last step, I'm going to create the forces applied on the blue component here in the, the right part of the model so I'm going to say we have uh, one force that points to this tangency point that is uh, equal and opposite to uh, the normal force here uh, one force that points to the tang tangency point here that is equal and opposite to this tangency force uh, we are going to have one moment here and uh, then one uh, force as well that is going to finish the force balance here in this location we are going to have one force perpendicular to this diameter and friction also associated so in next step I will show to finish the balance calculation we unlock this force here in the pivot we unlock the moment so we end up with three degrees of freedom because uh, one rotation in the, in the pivot point the force value and the torque value are unknown so that's three so we say sum in x and y of the forces should be zero so it's going to sum all these to zero and then some of the moments should also be zero so we take the moment, the forces and we sum them to zero in uh, one point on the blue lever like this